It's Rod Sellers and I was an assistant steward on Manchester Liners. I served roughly from 1967 to 1970 on Manchester Liners. Apart from that I was on other ships. Yeah, you used to get a pungent smell of the oil. My dad got killed on there. My father. Yeah, he got run over. Yeah. Well, at lunchtime, nearly all the dockers used to jump on an empty lorry, an empty vehicle to get a lift up to Tampa Cross Lane to the, where the cafes were. You see, and and then uh, he just made a mistake and went, fell off and went under under the wheel. Yeah, he was in Salford Royal and died in there. My name's Frederick Joseph Tingle. I was a merchant seaman for quite a long time. I was with Manchester Liners and uh, I was... Uh, I worked in the engine room as an oiler and greaser and uh, then I moved and I went to Esso on the tankers. Yeah, and uh, I got promoted to a uh, mechanic. I see, I have seen one ship bombed in in Salford docks. That was when my dad got killed on the docks. My grandfather took me aboard this ship looking for witnesses to try and help my mother, you know what I mean? You, you understand what I mean? And uh, and there was a ship there in the dock. It was on the bottom it was on the bottom of the of the dock. There was a bomb went right through it. Manchester Spinner it it was Friday the 13th and she sailed. We get to Montreal, loaded cargo, and there was 2,000, 2000 tonne of cargo space left. So we went over to Newfoundland and uh, topped up. But going over, we hit a reef. Ripped the bottom out of the ship. Yeah. What they did, they sent for a big deep sea tug. A massive, big, powerful effort. They towed us off the reef because it was jammed. And uh, they, 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 they pulled, pulled us off and uh, took us to Halifax in Nova Scotia. We, un we unloaded the cargo, what, what was in it, uh, and uh, had to go into dry dock then. She was three months in dry dock. Uh, coming home, he didn't, he didn't want them tin foods, you know, tins of jam and uh, cocoa. And so what they, what they did, we used to sling them over to the children and they used to go out and swim down and get and get the cans yeah if I was young I would go back to sea yeah I would go back to, I'm I'm 77 years of age now and uh, if I was young I'd, I'd definitely uh, it's, it's a good life absolutely a good life